We're starting out, right? Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to I wanted to talk about the first time I seen blacks inside the F-13 gang organization. My brother name was Keith Fisher, and he had a, a friend that was from Florence. I never had seen this before. He was from Florence, F-13, and his name was Val. And as the, I got old, he lived on 73rd and Hooper, right by the hamburger stand and the seven trays. And there was a guy named Tweety. He used to write his name all on the walls. And this is where the first time I seen a black F-13. And then I seen a, a, a few more black F-13s, but I don't know if they was high up in rank in the F-13s, but I did experience seeing some black F-13s. I remember one time at the Huntington Park, I seen a black F-13, his name was Tin Man. And we was walking down, up and down Huntington Park, and I seen him and I noticed that he was a big black guy. He was had the, the Latino, what they call it, vadio walk. And then I seen a, one of the most black guys that act like a Mexican was a guy named Taco. He lived, in, he lived on 76, and he had a brother named, named uh, Kevin Wright. And I think that I don't know how Taco became a black Mexican, but this guy was straight up Latino. But that's how come I figured out the culture of being in Latino games is a thing called being a vato. And Taco, his real name was, uh, I forgot his name, but everybody called him Taco. And he lived right next to Spook, uh, uh, Ronnie, and uh, my homies from 7-6. And this guy, man, I think that he really took the culture and really made it him a black F-13. And they used to call him Buck. The guys that really knew him, he called him Buck, but I never seen Buck do nothing but hang with the Mexicans. And I also seen a, another black, Florence, his name was Skipper. Me and Skipper, we played basket, baseball together. I remember when Skipper was a young guy, man. Skipper was a small guy with big glasses, and we played baseball together, and Skipper, he used to pitch. And I remember when Skipper kept going back and forth. I think he was half a little like a little Puerto Rican, a little something. But he looked at that. He had the nice hair. He dressed like a Mexican. And I kept seeing Skipper go in and out of jail. And I remember one day I seen Skipper. And um, Skipper was real buff. And I was like, God, dog, Skip, what's up, man? He said, man, I just got out to uh, YA. And, uh, I, you know, I've been buffing iron. And, you know, I kind of like have a... Uh, a little bit of, uh, I'm not going to say uh, rank, but he always was their man for fighting. He was a guy that was like, they, they kind of like looked up to him. And uh, it was another guy, he tried to be a Mexican. His name was John. He lived on 64. But I liked the Skipper because Skipper was a guy, man, that took that culture real serious. And he became a Florence for a long time. And he always used to be at the park, but we was younger. He always, we played baseball together. That was right over there with a guy named Mondo. Mondo was a lowrider guy. He had all the nice cars. He had always in the lowrider magazine. And Mondo lived it on, I think that was Mary Money on my key. And I remember back in the days that uh, uh, Mondo and, and uh, the fruit, uh, uh, Marcelino, you got a boy named, Ma, uh, um, he was my friend, they lived it on 59th, his name was Jimmy, you had Jimmy, you had uh, Thudo, you had Thudo, and uh, Thudo was a good friend of mine, man, and we went to Marimani and Edison together, but it was a few black F-13s that I kind of knew, and, and, and back in the days, we all kind of like, used to have that Cholo mentality. We had a 
I don't, I see a guy like guys with their pants hanging down. I never wore my pants hanging down. I always wore my pants up like a, like, like a Mexican, like a vato. And, um, you know, we had a, 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 a bunch of uh, Latinos in our community, man. They were, some, they were some real good guys. It just seemed like when they turn a certain age, they just turn to be vatos. And I noticed that with a guy in my neighborhood named Butchie. Butchie and his brother, I forgot, Minor. Yeah, Butchie Minor, they was brothers, and I had another, another Mexican guy, his name was uh, P.O. He lived it on 64th, but, but P.O., I think P.O., he liked the black girls, but a lot of the guys, man, that was in the Florence 13s that I knew that was black, because I went to Huntington Park for a little while, and uh, a lot of those, and I met a guy named Mr. Nino. Mr. Nino was lived down the street from the Huntington Park High, and this was the coolest Mexican dude I ever saw in my life. His name was Mr. Nino, man, and he uh, he had he had a swagger, man. I was just out of this world, man. And um, we used to stand by the the the, the little at the little street, and we used to watch the girls go by. And I used to stand there with them, and I used to just watch, the, you know, the, the the Mexican guys and how much cool they was, and how they used to holler at the girls. And I used to just be like, man, that Nino, man, he's something else, man. And I used to just watch him. And right around, I was in high school, and I, cause I went to Huntington Park, but I went to a lot of schools in LA. But I really kind of like indop, in, indoctrinated the, the Latino swagger and the, 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 the zoot suit, the uh, the low rider. Cause I used to go out there to Whittier. Whittier Boulevard was where the Mex a lot of the Latinos used to cruise the streets. Then we had Huntington Park. Then we had a little bit of Florence, and then we went 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 down to maybe Hollywood sometime, and maybe a little Crenshaw. But I remember Huntington Park was kind of like the boulevard, and we had a lot of low riders, and and we had a guy on our street uh, in our neighborhood named Ethan. I think Ethan is still over there cutting cars. We had a a culture over there that low riding man was 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 real. Uh, it was it was real expensive, but all you wanted to do is get some money and we get those rims. I remember when the first rims were uh, Craigers. Then they promoted to Wires. Then they promoted to Xenoms. Then they promoted to Straight Lace uh, Datings, because they had wire. Then they had Straight Lace Datings. And those Datings was called Killer Datings. And man, I remember me and this other Mexican dude, we used to go out to Whittier and try to hunt to get us some rims. And he said, man, if we take the car, man, I'm getting the rims and I'm getting the other guys, I'm getting the hydraulics, man. And my first Chevy was a, a, a 65 Chevy. And that Chevy, man, I made it look like it was a Mexican car. I had the skirts, the blinds in the window. I primed it up myself. And um, I used to go out, man, and we used to steal those SS hubcaps. We wanted our cars to look original to the T. And I remember, man, I couldn't wait to get a, a lowrider. And I used to be like, man, I can't. I'm going to give me a lowrider. I'm going to park it in my yard, and I'm going to barely drive it. And I, when, when I want to take my girl to uh, down the strip, I used to ride from, I used to, I used to leave out my yard on 6th Day Central and hit Central, make a left. Go all the way down to Florence, make a right, real go real slow all the way down to Crenshaw. Go all the way down Crenshaw to Pico, turn around, come all the way back to Florence, go all the way back to Central, and go back to my house. That was called doing a lap. And if you catch, you can catch girls like that, and you can, um, and sometimes we would stop by street races, and man, it was a big old scene. It was Crips everywhere. You had one side that was uh, where well, Hans Schnemm used to be. Then you had the other side where the street racer guys used to be. Then you had the other side where the fast cars used to be. And we used to be behind Golden Ox, where all of the Crips and all of us, the East Coasts, and everybody that we dealt with over there used to be back there. And I remember, man, that the street races was, 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 was nice. Everybody minding business. And everybody had a little area for themselves. Then sometimes you see the car speeding off to go race on Gage and, and Avalon down towards Florence. 
But I remember South Central, man, was a real, real peaceful place. 